Oh, hey everyone, this is Dr. Drizzle. My cohort, my co-host Oliver is on special assignment, but today we have Olaf with us. And today we're gonna to talk about the sound of music. As you can see, I was trying to play my guitar here. I'm still learning, but I think I'll get good pretty soon. So how are sounds made? How does sound get from the source, the guitar, to your ears? Well, I'm gonna show you a few instruments and let us come up with an idea. So this is a tambourine. When I shake the tambourine, these little cymbals hit one another and they make a noise. This is a flute. Now, when Dr. Drizzle was a youngin, she used to play the flute for about six months. So I'm not sure exactly how to do it now, but I know that if I blow across this hole, that air goes in and vibrates or bounces around and makes noise. Well, here is a new word for us today. It is called vibration. And basically it means a rapid back and forth movement. We're going to sort of demonstrate that with this homemade drum. Now this is just a cylinder with some saran wrap on top of it. But when I turn this into a drum, I want you to see if you can see the rice that bounces or vibrates. I'm going to now show you another activity that you can do at home. As we know, Easter is just around the corner. So why not take some extra Easter eggs and fill them with something to make a sound? Now, I've already filled this one pretty full with pinto beans. Make sure they're dried and not cooked. I'm going to put a few in here, much less than I put in the other one. And I want you to listen to the sound. So we have a different sound with the same materials. These beans are vibrating. You can also do the same thing with a toilet paper tube. You can put saran wrap on one side and use either rubber bands or tape to hold it together and then pour rice into it and then put saran wrap on the other side. Well, I've already done this and I want you to listen to the sound. You can actually come up with your own band. Everyone in your family can make one of these instruments and you can come up with a great song to put out on YouTube. But I do have an assignment for you for our next time. So I'm thinking that a pan pipe would sound good. So here are the materials that you're gonna need for your pan pipe. You're gonna need some straws. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna search this on the internet and you're gonna realize that you need to cut these straws into different shapes or different sizes. So one of them is gonna be six inches, five and a half, five, four, and three and a half. Once you cut those to the correct size, lay them down on a piece of cardstock with some tape in order of size, and then put the other piece of cardstock here, and you will come up with a pan pipe. Now, if I blow air across this, just like I did with the flute, I should be able to make some noise. So I want you to think about this. The longer the straw, the lower the sound. The shorter the straw, the higher the sound. Well, that's all I've got for today because I need to get back on my guitar playing because you don't know him, but Billy Joel has called me and he wants me to come play in his band. Thanks everyone, this is Dr. Drizzle, out.